So my topic is keratoconjunctivitis sicca in dogs. My dog was actually diagnosed with this when he was three or four. He's a Shih Tzu. He is now 13, so he's an old man. So tears actually come into a very important part into this because tears are made of mucus, fatty liquids, and water. And what it does is that it lubricates the eyes and it removes any debris that can be there irritating the eye. So keratoconjunctivitis sicca is the inflammation of the cornea and surrounding eye tissue, which affects the tear production of the eye for the dog. So this is also known as dry eye, and certain dog breeds are more prone to it, like the little dogs with the giant eyes, like Shih Tzus, Pugs, um, English Bulldogs, and other dog breeds. It can be caused by many factors. Immune-mediated diseases aren't quite sure like why this does this. This is when the body's own cells ends up attacking the tear glands. So then the tear glands can't produce an act, like a sufficient amount of tears. Systemic diseases such as canine distemper virus can also cause this. It can also become be a side effect from different medications that the dog might be taking or hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism can cause this as well. So there are clinical signs for this if you think your dog has it, such as thick yellow mucus discharge. My dog actually had this so bad where the mucus would kind of glue his eyes shut and he wouldn't be able to open his eyes. So then we would just take a washcloth and like wash it away so we can help him feel better. Their eyes may be red and irritated and eventually it could develop corneal scarring. In this picture, that's neovas neovascularization. That's when you can see the red veins coursing through their eyes. I thought my dog was just dumb and got like red thread in his eyes at first until the vet told us what it was. Um, so when you think your dog has this, you will take him to the vet and the vet will perform a skirmer tear test. This is when they take a, wick, a piece of wicker paper with the increments on it, as you can see right here, and they insert it into the corner of the dog's eye and leave it for a minute and it'll measure the amount of tear production. So this one shows an insufficient tear production. This is a possible shortage of tears, and this is the amount that normal, normal eyes should produce. This is treatable with attentive care and monitoring. Medications can be used, so there's eye drops and creams, and my dog actually went from eye drops to Optimum because we realized that the cream worked better. And so what we did was we put, we would insert, or we would apply this medication in the morning and at night, but then throughout the day, the vet also prescribed us a human eye drop that was safe on dogs, so we can, that can be applied multiple times a day just to provide relief. And like I said earlier, if the dog's eye does build up mucus and stuff, you can clean it away with a gentle wash, washcloth and warm water. And so that was my more excited. Okay, that's very good. You had like a personal story here with it. And I always, now there's not